Hello, everyone. Welcome to Let's Play Path of Exile. And today, as you can see over here, in Search the Sanctum, let us meet Divinia and, and seek out those ruins that we are, that she is looking for. She seems to be searching for something here in the ruin. It's Felshrine Ruins. As a historian, I'm sure she knows something's supposed to be here. This may be a grim place, but it's Whoops, hold on. Uh, We're not far from the sanctum now. Let's give me one second. I have my audio on my TV going. Okay, welcome back. Let us go. Help Divinia find the sanctum entrance outside the Falshine Cathedral. Yes, the cathedral is the main reason people travel here. However, now there is something maybe around this courtyard to find as well. So that'd be nice. Nice reason to come here and not just as a through fair. We're actually looking for this right here. <laughs> yeah, bees, bees. The sanctum. Yes. I can't believe you better believe it, Divinia. Whoa, boom. Should you really be using those explosives with historical areas? What do you think, Divinia? Chantry, I don't know that word. What's with me not knowing words nowadays? Ooh, holy power. Like Final Fantasy IV is holy. Oh, you have a relic already! That's so nice of you to have. The Boosting Sensor Relic of Illumination. Ooh, this looks nice. Inspiration. Now, veterans of Path of Exile know that there is a Inspiration Skill Gem support gem. However, this Inspiration is different. Let's talk about these relics with Divinia first. Oh, I thought that said brutal, not burial. A lot can be inferred from their burial practices, their scripture, their art. Yes, why is this sanctum here? And why does it have so many weird portals to the rest of the world? Heresies, huh? Imagine renouncing a path of righteousness. I spent decades rifling through papyrus in the archives, and being here is like seeing it all come to life. Hmm, I don't know what that has to do with Is this ruin area supposed to have been a place of heresy? Let us try to find out. It's strange to think that we're beneath the fells. Yeah. Ruins themselves. We're in the basement. Vital part of or underground. History, where heroism and atrocities took place. Well, oh, let's see here. This may not be the most pleasant of places, but I brought you here to assist in exploring. Oh no, we can tell you're not very battle hardened, are you? Especially battle hardened, <laughs> and I need someone to be the Excuse me, I think Witchy was very good with the brains. I'll be the brains. Though you're obviously much more in fluent in the language and the structure of this place than Witchy is. You've had time to study, which he hasn't. Hey, alright. Oh, I've earned victorious gloves. Yay, victorious As uh NCS says. And this is the Sanctum. Relic altar, I mean. Uh, for what? Is to put these relics onto it. And? If I could remember where to put it. Oh, I remember this. You're faintly glowing. And rather less dusty. Ooh, I'm glowing. Seems like you really Ooh. Something Witchy, you're pregnant! <laughs> No, I'm not. Farewell. Okay, okay. Let us try that again, because I think we may have to talk to Davinia. No. Well, we'll figure it out. I'm sure. You know, actually, maybe it's the fact that we're not able to do that at this point in, the, in that room. Maybe we have to take one of those portals. Not sure. I had a little trouble with it last time in my, um, in a different manner of playing the game. We'll say that. A tougher manner. Eh, 
Now, since we're here at the Fell Shrine Ruins, why don't we go all the way to the Cathedral and finish the quest that we have there? I'm sure we have a quest. You know, actually, we haven't been told about a quest over here yet, have we? Well, that's good. There's a waypoint over here. So, we'll, we'll go back to town when we get to the waypoint and talk to the people, see what they have to say about the Fell Shrine Ruins. I'm sure there's a lot to say about these ruins. They're just ripe with history. Though the Osmerians at the encampment don't seem to be know much history. Venus the only one with any kind of a spiritual bent. Whereas Aramir is a historian of the Empire itself and knows what the um Uh, about how the people living on the encampment now are kind of descended from the Empyrean people. Imperial. You know, the Eternal Empire. Uh, I'm dying here, so hold on, let me let me focus a second. Because what I want to do is identify for you this monster that is killing me with Molten Strike, Solmorn. Yes, this is the unique monster of this map. If these necromancers would stop freaking raising all the undead around here, so I could focus on the Solmorn. Uh, Solmorn can be very difficult, as you can see, as he's beating me up a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, she is uh, beating me up with Solmorn, uh, with uh, Molten Strike. So I'm gonna do my little hit and run strategy here, where I'm running, attack, run, attack. It would help if I click on her so my projectiles will actually hit her perfectly. Ooh, jeez. And call, yes. I love calling strike. I love power siphon for having calling strike on it. It's very good. Very good for a witch to, know, to have a calling strike ability. And this statue and plaque, let us read it. On this day. The second of Verusia, okay, that's a lot of words that I that are lore lore specific. Its most devout and beloved servant, Ooh, Archbishop Geoffrey. Geoffrey of Frisia. As spoken by Geoffrey, only will and truth can prevail over the evil of our own. Aww. High Templar Vol, commander of the army. So this cathedral might be a place of remembrance in honor of uh, Geoffrey here. So that's pretty nice. Maybe he has a barrel to him somewhere nearby. Of course, that reminds me of um, Al uh, Hamilton. Hamilton was buried at Trinity Church, supposedly, and Angelica is buried near you, him. And yes, here's the waypoint. When you needed her most, when you needed it most, it was right on time. Now. Oh. Let's see. Oh, here's something I missed with Malgar's spike. Oh. Well, if he dropped it, how does she have it in her eye, then? Is it supposed to be in her eye? Is it in her eye? I don't know. Oh, Davinia's gone. She's gone to study at the ruins now. Nothing for anyone to say. Really? Oh, I may have to... Hello. Oh, you have something to say about Felshrine. Felshrine is a shadow of what was once good in oh, Rayclast. there was something good here in Rayclast. It's a discry from when the Templar truly stood for something. Oh, a flickering torch. The discry was a flickering torch. Be a light in the darkness. A source of inspiration and... <laughs> oh, that's sweet. They go out. That's hilarious. Poor torches. Does he not have something to say now that I've talked to Iramir? No. Well, you know, since I think I have to do that quest in order to get her to talk about Felstrine, let's go do the the quest to save the great old great old white beast from its pain and torment of suffering. 
So we're here in the old field yet again. And that reminds me, I forgot to do something when I started this episode. Let me just kill these crabs. Skitters, whatever they are. Leapers. Oh, I forgot to put this in my chest. Anyways, I have here a couple chromatic orbs I took from my chest, my stash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. Use one chromatic orb on a wand and equip my Herald of Purity. Yes. That will let me now have Herald of Purity equipped so I can re reserve my mana to have the effects of the Purity the, of the Herald active on me. It should increase my attack damage because it deals, it adds physical attack damage to you. As well as some of these little ghosty ghosts whenever you kill something with them. These little four ghosty ghosts that are fighting beside me now. That's me now that I actually have my, uh... The holy relic is not the best of things. It needs, it needs, um, boosting to keep it alive. Need something to keep it alive. Ooh, so many scrolls. Um, that's right. I'm looking for the old, looking for the uh, what is it? The cave. The den. That's what it's called. So it should be somewhere here along this road, like right there. Ooh, and a sanctum portal. Let's do a sanctum run right now. Then we'll head on into the den. Maybe we'll get a second Sanctum run in there, too. Come on, monsters. Go away. Oh, goats. Bah. Bah, ram you. Hmm, and we're in a room. But Divinia doesn't seem to be here. But there's now a relic locker here. That's nice. So I'm going to put this in there. And there doesn't seem to be a... Altar. So I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead into one of these rooms, have a chance for a minor treasure, and if I wanted to, I could go up here by taking this room, or down here, ooh, that's nice, but Neverland Fountain, jeez, minus 100 resolve, maximum resolve, that would suck it, oh, I, I, I was thinking I only had 100 resolve, but now, I want to heal my resolve that I have, since I have 88 out of 300. Better to heal that than to... Uh, what is it? Then to try taking out the maximum, I guess. Let's heal instead of taking a penalty. Yes, that's what I want to say. I know there are words to say. I'm trying to say them. They're there in my head. Kind of. Maybe they're in my heart. Because you'll be in my heart. From this day forward, now and forevermore. Ooh, yes. Go, minions. Go, Herald of Purity minions. Smash. Smash these monsters for me. Smash their face in with an iron. Oh boy, what's that, Wraith? No! Crap. I'm glad I'm getting more coins, because that will let me use another fountain if I... find a second Benevolent, that would be nice. Okay. Excuse me. There's a little burpee burp. Question for fitness people. What is a burpee? Is it the one where you go from standing to jump down to your, jeez, to a push-up position, and then do a push-up, then go back up to standing? Or is it the one where you start in a push-up position and do the claps in between the pushes? Which one's the burpee? Which one's the... And if whichever one's the burpee is, uh, what's the other one called? I, 
I just want to know. Ooh. I just want to know what the one with the, where you do the claps is called. Ow. Damn, he hurt me. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It seems you lack a fortitude to continue. No matter. Keep going anyway. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. We could start over. Like I said, having the Herald of Purity would, would be a big boost to dealing with the um, Sanctum. Because, here, let me see. How much damage? Go away. Because I do 173 with all the bu buffs I have. Then I take off the Herald. And it's 160. Okay. So it's a 13 point difference. That's not the best. Yeah, being a wanderer is a late game carry build. I'd say you gotta get at least 40, 50 points into your tree before you do really good. Plus, because you're doing attack, attack damage, you know, you're attacking with an item, you gotta have those weapons of yours boosted up to a high level too. You gotta have strong items to do do well. Cause I mean if I just had an old driftwood wand, I bet I wouldn't even be doing 60 points of damage at this point. And I bet later in the game I wouldn't even be doing a hundred. <laughs> that's how bad it's that's how important it is to have stronger weapons as you go on and on throughout the Oh, yes, I have three levels to use, yay. But that's right, I was saving them for the, um... Getting up to that wheel. Getting up to that branch of the, uh, tree. Where I have all that wand damage to pick up. Yep, here's a Sanctum Portal, just like I thought. Oh, here's Divinia. Nice. And the Relic Altar. Now then, as I was saying, there was an Inspiration Skill Gem. The Inspiration this Relic... Res uh, is talking about is different. As there is Resolve, which is basically Sanctum HP, there is Inspiration, which is Sanctum Energy Shield. See? Now I have 300 Resolve and 33 Shielding it. 33 Inspiration Shielding my Resolve. So that's pretty nice. Whoa, boy. So I should be losing energy, uh, inspiration before I lose resolve now. Like that. Yep, see, I'm losing inspiration before resolve. Yeah, not the most exciting of things to do, really, I find. I don't think. It'd be fast. It'd be easier if I were faster. You know, faster walker. I think I might pick up something to do that better. It's too bad though, because there is a good skill gem. Oh, I'm out of inspiration. There's a skill, good skill gem that would boost my speed, make me invisible, and increase my attack power. Which you think would be good for a Wanderer, and it would be, except it boosts melee damage, not any damage, attack damage. So that kind of sucks. Ooh, an Orb of Regret. Hey, let's use that. Because what the Orb of Regret does is gives you a passive respect point. So now... I can finally spec out this last point from the energy shield I decide I would unspec. Let's see, where does this get me? That far. That far, no farther. Let me stop there. Let me save some more points there, just in case. I may decide I want to boost up my strength or dexterity stats with that little node next to that where I stopped if I need to um like say keep hair to purity on or leveled oh 
Why is there a door over there? I don't know, let's go look. Oh, I know why. Well, here, let's go this way. Let me show you something. Actually, I could have showed you something other than the old field, too. Maybe I'll go for a small, long episode today. What on earth is that? Oh, that's the, uh... Because the Sanctum gets added... The Sanctum help portal room gets added to the zone that you are in when you portal to it. So it gets added to the mini-map when you uncover it. Hmm, what's this area? This looks like a waypoint right here, but I'm unable to, I'm unable to use it. Because it's cut. I mean, I... I could fix this. I'm sure somebody could fix this. Make it usable. There seems to be a big old door here, too. Gee, I wonder what that's there for. Would you stop giving me bad commercials? <laughs> As usual, the thing I'm listening to is giving me bad commercials. You would think in this day and age of algorithms, so it lets you cater that... Well, the problem is that it lets them cater commercials to you. It doesn't let you cater commercials to you. I mean, if I could... I mean, yeah, I'm sure that doesn't make sense exactly to where... I could cater to myself, but hey, uh, here's the Great White Beast. She's a big bear. Big, big bear. Her arm is as tall as Witchy. Is actually taller than Witchy. She's almost dead. I just called her. Um, ooh. Chromatic item. Yay! Talk to Ina for a reward for killing the Great White Beast, putting it out of its misery. Aw, oh, poor bear. Go, bear. You know, I don't know what that's from. I just know Ichi Bailey said, said it sometimes in the last few years. Here we go. The Bears. I assume it's something to do with the Chicago Bears. No, what's anybody have to say? No? No? Yeesh. How many people to talk to? Yina! Oh, yay. The spirit's at rest. You know, that reminds me of my great-grandmother. Apparently I saw her when I was a little kid at her funeral, and she told me that she could breathe again. Which uh, is understandable, considering she was a heavy smoker. She's a, these are not good rewards. The spirit is ah, here. More. The spirit is strong in Felshrine. Time to touch the stones. You feel the stones. Rub the stones. Come in. Come in. <laughs> That's a dirty joke. The hand of the good man. Hey, yeah, the altar is his. Oh, his hand is... Ah, I see. They took off his hand and left it as, no, as a relic in Felshrine Ruins. Yeah, they used to do that in the old days. Very old days. Or like the, like there's supposedly supposed to be relics, churches that have the relics, pieces of the spear that killed Christ or pierced Christ. Not killed, but uh, not that I should, I mean, if you know, if you know a little bit about it, uh, religious history, Christian history, you know that uh, when he was on the cross, they decided to take him down a little bit early and stuck a spear in him to make sure he was gone. So that item became kind of uh, deified by the founders of the church, the explorers of the um, old area. And I, I remember, I want to talk about that a little bit for some reason recently. Because it was, um, what's the name, Constantine? What was his name? The first Holy Emperor. The one that reunited Rome. Was it Constantine? Because back when he was a general... Well, not a ge well he was a general, fighting for one of the four Caesars. Because after the Visigoths and everybody pillaged Rome and broke down the society, 
you know, the political structure of Rome. Four, four men took over different areas of Rome, claiming to be Caesars. And they couldn't take the they couldn't take all of Rome, so they'd end up with uh, generals like Constantine. I think his name is Constantine. Uh, fighting battles for them to. Uh, what was it? While well, fighting the other Caesars, trying to take more control and more control over the entirety of Rome. And Constantine ended up with a um, traveler with him who was actually a Christian. I haven't talked about this, but uh, whatever, so I'm talking about it. Deal with it. Deal with it. You'll love it. You'll love history, history books. Uh, he ended up with a traveler who was Christian. Who started to, like, say that Constantine was realizing and fulfilling a prophecy. And that he would, he himself would see the sign of God and know when he, that he was the, what was it? That he would be the one to reunite Rome under Christian rule. So he did end up actually doing all that. He reunited all four areas of Rome back under himself, because he took over from the Caesar that he was um, serving at the time. And so, after that, he wanted to know more about Christianity and Jesus and everything. So, he actually enlisted his mother to travel to the Middle East, the old holy land of the old birthplace of Christ, and she started talking to everybody she could about... She was basically the first archaeologist. So that's kind of like... That's why I want to talk about Helena, because her name was Helena, his mother. She was the first archaeologist, and... Divinia kind of reminds me of her in some way, to where she's looking to the historical going-ons of this area of Rayclast where she's traveled far from home and is not very strong herself and is uh, seeking something here. So yeah, Helena was like the first archaeologist in history. Not that she did any digging or anything for, per se, I think. Because uh, I'm getting all this from the History Channel, from ages of watching History Channel years ago. My grandma loved the History Channel. She was very into, even though she herself was agnostic, she loved watching anything on the History Channel about Jesus. As, as old people are wont to do. So, just from living with my grandma, I got to watch the TV she watched and had all this information dumped into my head. And now I'm, my grandmother so always said she was the fountain of useless knowledge. Well, now I am the fountain of useless knowledge. Ah, here we go. Yep, this area is denotes where, when we're getting close to the end of the basement of Fell Shrine. And look at that, there's a great big ghost skeleton. A holy skeleton, even. Because it is Archbishop Jeffrey the Abash. That we are fighting. He has risen, coming looking for his hand, I suppose. Or is guarding the altar or holding his hand. And I just killed him. <laughs> yup, very undramatic. Now this altar. The golden hand. Which many people use to in chat to talk about to be dirty. In open palm, race in peace. Cut down by the slaves of war. Oh no. I wonder if that speaks to... Because the history of the, the game... I think this is around the time in the story, in the history of the game, that this takes place. But I think Calm marched on the Internal Empire, not only killing Lion-Eye, but apparently killing Jeffrey, 
This is a fancy person. Very fancy. And, uh... Because he marched in the Empire, trying to get to the... Center Ray class or whatnot. Yes, we are Dream Tender. Badness is everywhere. I bring the good. You got the goods? Yeah, I got the goods. I am the good. I bring the good. Ooh, a book of regrets. Yay. And... Oh, yo, what do you have to say about the red right, white beast? Yes, many will be impressed. Many impressions will be had. Greetings. Yes. The old History Channel did have a lot of cool things. Like, uh, there was a TV show following, I believe, Stone Cold Steve Austin and a, an actual soldier from, from the 2000 wars, 2000 year, years, not the, the aughts, the wars that we fought in the 2000s. And they would travel to around the world to different martial arts historical places and learn, like, they learned Kali, they learned Sabo from France, they learned Kung Fu from China, Kali from India, or was it the Philippines? No, it was the Philippines. Because the way, the very cool way they kept Kali, kept training for Kali even under occupation, because the Philippines became occupied, and they had to hide that they were training in their old martial arts, right in plain sight, is they told people that they were doing religious training, religious exercises for presentations of religious arts. And so they hid that they were doing martial arts right in front of the, the occupiers' faces, right under their nose. It was called Human Weapon. I loved that show. I loved a lot of things on History Channel. But hey, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to stop babbling. Hey, please don't yell at me or report me or anything for my talking about stuff I learned on History Channel. Just have some fun at watching history. If you don't have fun, I know history's not for everyone. Two plus two doesn't always equal four. It's okay. Not fully, but it will be cool. Get along. I hope you had a good time watching today's episode. And until next time, you have fun. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.